Hi, I'm Josh Shabbat, and in this video I'm going to show you seven different ways that you can use Floating Action Button. This first example is on the sales page of Floating Action Button. What I've done is I've created a button where members can make their purchase whenever they're ready to order. And this button will follow along with them as they scroll up and down the page. Now this is something that should be on every sales page. Because whenever I decide to buy a product, there's always a specific moment, and it might be after reading a certain headline, or it might be after reading a really good bullet point, but there's always a moment where I say, yes, I need to buy this product. So now that I've made up my mind to buy, then what? Normally I have to scroll down through the entire sales letter just to find the buy button. And some marketers might put multiple buy buttons throughout their sales letter, but they're still just taking a guess on when their customers are going to be ready to buy. With floating action button, there's no need to guess, because the floating action button will be there, ready to close the sale the second that the customer says yes. The second example is for an upsell offer for floating action button. And what I've done is I've created an audio recording where I read through the offer and explain the different parts and the different benefits, so members can click play to hear the recording as they read the offer. And now thanks to the magic of floating action button, the audio player will scroll with them as they scroll through the sales page. So if they want to stop for a moment and read something through at their own pace, all they have to do is click pause to pause the recording, and then they can hit play to play it again, so they can read through the offer at their own pace. This third example is on a WordPress blog. What I've done is I've created an opt-in form for a newsletter on the blog. So when they're reading the blog post, if they want to get more information, they can sign up for my newsletter just by entering their name and email address. And this is integrated with all the major autoresponders, so you can add in opt-in forms to your WordPress blogs to build your lists. Now you can also add other things inside of a floating action button on a WordPress blog. You can add social buttons, so you can add a Twitter button where somebody can tweet out a post, or you can add a button where somebody can share a post on Facebook, and you can also add a Twitter button where somebody can start following you on Twitter and friend you on Facebook so you can start building more of a following on social media sites using your WordPress blog and floating action button. This next example is inside of a membership site. And this is for an affiliate program. So what I do is when somebody's reached the minimum payout to earn a commissions payment, this notification will show up inside of their account, inside of that membership site, telling them that they've reached the minimum for the payout, and it reminds them to enter their PayPal address in their profile so they can, rec so they can receive their payment. This next example is inside of a traffic exchange. And what this does is it tells them how many unassigned credits they have, and it provides a one-click button where they can just click on this to go to the page where they need to assign those credits to their sites. And you can do the same thing with banner impressions inside of a banner exchange, or also text link impressions. And now in this next example, what I've done is I've implemented an, an entire YouTube video inside of a floating action button. So in this case, I'm using it as a tutorial video. So when they go to a certain page on my site, this comes up as a tutorial video, and they can watch a video showing how to use it. Or if they're not interested, they can just click the X to close the video. And you can add any type of YouTube video into a floating action button. So it can be a sales video that you put inside of your sales pages, your upsell offers, or anywhere you want to put them. And now this last example is something that we have as an upsell for floating action button. It's part of our upgraded membership. And what it is is it's something called a flash offer. And when somebody goes to a certain page, they see an offer with a payment button right here inside of the payment, in, inside of the floating action button. But this offer will only display for 10 seconds. And there's a countdown. You can see each time the button comes up, there's a countdown showing how much time they have left. So they have a limited time to take this offer, and if they don't click the payment button in time, the offer goes away. And I've seen very high conversions with these types of offers inside of my own sites. So after you purchase Floating Action Button, make sure to look out for our upsell offer 
that includes flash offers so you can add these powerful types of buttons to your own websites.